Hey, what's up guys? In this episode, we'll be going to St. Martin for a weekend getaway. We're landing at the St. Martin SXM airport where we can see Maho Beach, fly over it as we land. Upon landing, we go down some air stairs, take a bus into the terminal. We landed in St. Martin, and upon walking through the doors, they have the taxi dispatchers over here, and then there's a stand over there for food. All these people over here waiting for shuttles as well. Took a taxi from the airport to Baker Suites, and that cost us $15. Taxis generally cost $15 on this island to get from one place to another. Staying at it's called Baker Suites. It's about 10 minutes from the airport. From here, there is construction in this nearby building, but that's okay. There's a beach all the way over there, white sand, blue waters, and everything. It looks pretty cool from here. The hotel costs us $260 for two nights. It's clean and close to the beach, that's all I need. Up the street from the hotel is the Buccaneer Beach Bar where you can get a drink, go on a jet ski, ride something, or just plain lounge at the beach where the water is really blue actually. Nice. Chinese restaurant here where the prices are pretty high, like 13 bucks for chicken fried rice, 18 bucks for fish with broccoli. So just as you saw there, the prices at the restaurant were expensive. Now this market garden is no different. If you want to go to a supermarket, you're going to pay at least two to three times the price of what you'd pay at a typical Walmart in the U.S. So expect that as part of this island life. On this side, we see a couple of yachts and houses in the hill. When you go this direction, there's a lot of things that appear to be torn up, like this appeared to be some sort of building type establishment and maybe the storm took it away. But yeah, St. Martin is still in the process of rebuilding some of its things. Let's take a look over there. That's a hotel, Diamond Resorts International. They're still building. Like they're just barely putting windows back and of course that storm was a couple of years ago. This is the St. Martin Yacht Club where there's a lot of people congregating here just enjoying life. Still walking down the street there is this really modern looking McDonald's tethered to a couple of different shops like the local electronics shop. And here's what the beach looks like very close to the place that we're staying at. The water is like a bright blue compared to what I've seen in a lot of other places. Definitely Caribbean colored water. Looks very nice. Right on the bay here, you can rent a paddle board or even one of these bigger boats. And this is like $40, I believe, for an hour. All right, just chilling here on the beach. Got the Bud Light, happy hour. My wife got the Coke. And on the beach, you can see planes like this take off all day, pretty much like at least once or twice per hour. I've got the menu in front of me so you can see how much drinks cost at this beach, like frozen margarita would cost you $8. Of course, happy hour is two for one. And then flipping back on this side, you can see how much wings are, like $9, $10 per plate, etc. And after lounging on the beach for hours, it was time to watch that golden sunset. Really beautiful. And just like that, our first day at St. Martin ended. This morning, starting the day with a egg and bacon sub, as well as orange juice, tiny cactus, and overlooking the nice beach with really blue water. On this day, we rented a tiny car for $38 to drive all the way around the island. Right, blue Caribbean waters. Look at all those buildings. It is windy up here. There is sun beating down, but it is a very nice view. Driving in St. Martin is like driving along the canyons in the U.S. Pretty easy to drive here, actually. Drove the car to Fort Amsterdam, which is actually hidden in this resort called Davy Little Bay. So we stopped by and took a look at their beach, which is really blue, like sky blue. It's really amazing looking. Went to a local market called Fairway Market, and the water was $2.55. 
Yep, so this is very close to the Phillipsburg shopping area, but that place is really busy. So the car all the way to the French side of St. Martin. And the first place we stopped on the French side was at Rotary Lookout Point, where you see water this shallow. There are boats on one side, and there's an island that you can actually walk to. And that, to me, was pretty crazy. There's one of the islands right now. And then there's one just a little bit farther over there, too. Down to the beach, and you can step into this water that goes almost knee-deep. There are waves crashing from two sides, left and right. And as you look up, you can see them coming from the left and the right. And there's an island over there that you can walk towards. Stopped at the KFC on the way back. We're gonna be heading to Maho Beach and all that. But yeah, I just wanted to eat some food first. This meal right here costs $10. This one was $4.85. And then this was the remaining about $5. No drink here, but we got water earlier, so we are fine. So open up the zinger to find that it's like the most burned zinger in the world. Mm -hmm. But my wife's chicken came out okay. It's a really burnt zinger. I'm here on Mahalo Beach. We parked right on the road here. There was like one available parking spot. This is the car that we're driving. Open spot. That's the airport where you can see planes land and take off. Here's a warning. Don't get hit by the jet blast, guys. Look at that. As we were waiting on the beach, just looked out into the distance and saw a mega yacht as well as a huge sailboat. And now it was time to watch airplanes land and even take off as well. The jet blast from the airplane was so intense that I had to film facing the beach. So I got to see all these people's reactions to the jet blast as well. Crazy to experience. <laughs> Went to the bar close to the beach to see many beach patrons hanging out, just drinking, enjoying life. Saw these awesome posters. And of course, looked out onto the beach where we saw these rocks and extreme blue water. This is Muller Bay Beach where chairs are $5 a piece. And that's where you'd want to sit to get out of the sun. Yeah, there's a lot of people here, a lot of cars, a lot of everything. Went onward to the French side and now we're in front of a shopping mall in Marigot or at least that's how I think you should say it. This is called Le W Shopping Mall. Okay, we've made it to Orient Beach and to get here you have to pass by like a guard gate and drive about another five minutes. And here we go, a lot of villas, a lot of them are still being reconstructed. And on this beach there were significantly more water sports like parasailers, jet skis and the like. And after all that time driving around, it was time to relax at the same beach that we were at yesterday, looking at the same sunset. On the next day, went to Little Jerusalem to try the best shawarma on the island. Then we caught the local bus heading to the airport, so we paid it $3, which is significantly cheaper than the taxi from the other day. We're now back at the airport thanks to a bus driver bringing us over here instead of a taxi. So departures around that way, arrivals are here where all the people are coming in. The lines can get very long at the airport, so get here early. Like it took one hour to get from the back of the line to the front of the line and complete check-in. And that's the end of the trip where we get to see Maho Beach once again from the airplane, looking at the tourists waving at us as we go back to the US. 
And there you have it. That's our weekend trip to St. Martin. Please like, subscribe, comment, let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video.